Hey guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is another ceramic coating head-to-head -head comparison review in the form of Gion Q2 Pure vs G-Technic XO V4. Now both these coatings have similar durability and performance claims, and although Gion does cost a little more, you also get a lot more in the kit. So if you were to subtract those extra items, then you'd find that the actual coatings themselves are more or less the same price. So given that these two products are very similar on paper and two quite popular consumer-based coatings from two well-respected brands, I thought this would be a useful video to explore these two coatings in areas such as their user experience, gloss, slickness, hydrophobic behavior, chemical resistance, and overall value. So that when it comes time to buy one, you can make a well-informed decision. Now as I apply these two coatings on a couple of test panels for this video review, I'll talk a little about what I've discovered about the user experience while testing them out side by side over the last couple of weeks. Firstly, Gion Q2 Pure has a slightly different suggested application where Gion recommends you add a few drops to just half of your applicator and only apply it in one direction and one pass to start with. Then wait 20 seconds or so and use the same applicator with circular motions to level the coating down before using your microfiber cloth to wipe it off. Now I did use this method and it worked absolutely fine. But I also tested it side by side with the same method I apply almost all other ceramic coatings using several horizontal and vertical overlapping lines which you can see here. And it also worked absolutely fine. And even when I tested these two different applications side by side in relation to look, feel and performance, they both behaved identically in every single test. So although I'm sure Gion has their reasons for suggesting a slightly different application method, I personally saw no benefit or difference to applying it in a standard manner. But with that aside, I wouldn't say that this is a particularly difficult or especially easy coating to apply. It does lay down rather thick and have a bit of grip to it, and it may be a little more work to completely wipe or level down compared to some. But as a whole, I'd say it really sits somewhere in the middle compared to most ceramic coatings in relation to its user experience. And much like Sequats UK 3.0, it also seems to be a more rapid flashing coating with an almost instant bond to the paint. So it's gonna be hard to screw up the application, even for first time users, as long as you work it in thoroughly to assist the flashing and then almost immediately wipe it down. Now, in slight contrast, I would say that G-Technic XO V4 is one of the more easy and seamless ceramic coatings to work with and apply. I did, however, feel like I needed to apply a little more product to my applicator compared to Q2 Pure, as it's a little thinner, but it still spreads into the panel like butter and wipes away super easy. Now unlike Pure, it will need a few minutes to flash and bond to the paint, so for first time users that don't understand flash times, it may be a little more difficult in that respect. But with that aside, its super easy application and wipe off does make XOV4 such a nice and pleasurable ceramic coating to work with that really shouldn't cause any issues with a nice rewarding user experience. So all up, I'd say these two coatings have two very quite obviously different user experiences and characteristics, none of which are bad. But it's hard to deny that G-Technic XOV4 is the easier and nicer coating to work with overall. Now for a comparison, I applied a second layer on this second test panel about an hour and a half later to see if there would be any benefit in layering these coatings and we'll be testing out both these panels once they're allowed to fully cure.
Now as I've mentioned in the past, I keep my ceramic coating suede cloths after I coat a vehicle as they should harden up within a day or two as confirmation that the coating has hardened on the paint. And with both these coatings, that in fact happened and both seem quite good in that respect. But I also noticed that Gion Q2 Pure was perhaps a touch harder or stiffer on the cloths and it also hardened a lot faster than g Technic XOV4 that took an extra day or so to get there. So a week after application, the first test was assessing these two coatings in their ability to amplify automotive paint in relation to gloss and saturation levels. Starting with Gion Q2 Pure, I have to say that it really looks fantastic here, with very noticeable boosted levels of gloss and richness added to the finish of this hazed up panel. So all in all, as far as its looks go, Pure really seems to deliver here and produce the sort of finish that I'd personally expect from a quality ceramic coating. Now I wouldn't say that G-Technic XOV4 did badly here at all as it still managed to noticeably improve the finish of this paint with added gloss and saturation levels. But in a direct comparison to Gion Q2 Pure, I don't think there's any denying that it falls a little short by comparison. Now as we have a look at the results on the second test panel with two layers, I do realise it's hard to properly see the results on camera on this red metallic paint. There's a bunch of you guys that repeatedly asked me to use different colours and metallic and pearl finish paints for these tests and the reason I mostly tend to stick to flat black paint is because the camera just struggles with many of these other paint types and you guys just can't see what I'm seeing in person in the footage. But having said that, it does seem like a second layer of these coatings will help further boost gloss and saturation levels Though, just as on the first panel, Gion Q2 Pure still looks noticeably better than G-Technic XO V4. The next test was assessing the feel that these coatings create on automotive paint in relation to their slickness or lack of friction. Now as I mention all the time, ceramic coatings as a whole don't tend to be quite as silky to the touch as your typical wax or sealant but they will still tend to add noticeable slickness compared to bare paint. Having said that, it's not like there was a massive difference between these two coatings in that area, but rather just a slight difference with G-Technic XO V4 did seem to display reduced friction and a more nice silky feel compared to Gion Q2 Pure that just seemed to have a little more grip and tack to its feel by comparison. So onto some water behaviour testing to see how these two coatings perform in relation to their hydrophobic qualities. As a whole, I think both these coatings performed relatively well here, with a sort of rapid water sheeting and nice water bead contact angles that you'd expect from a quality ceramic coating. But with that said, as I continue to introduce various water spray patterns onto this panel, it does become apparent that one of these coatings is displaying slightly superior hydrophobic behaviour, namely Gion Q2 Pure. Pure just seems to sheet the water off the panel at a faster rate, and it also seems to display more propped up and nicely rounded water beads, in line with some really fantastic water behaviour. Now as mentioned, XOV4 is still quite good, and it's not like it's a night and day difference but it's also quite clear that Pure is a little more hydrophobic by nature.
The last test is a chemical resistance test to evaluate these coatings ability to resist environmental contamination which ultimately helps predict their durability. Now as per usual, for those of you that watch this channel, I'm using CarPro Multi-X but at a stronger 1 to 2 dilution ratio and I'm also going to start by lightly hitting the panel with a chemical and then getting more and more aggressive with each subsequent application to see what it's going to take to start killing the hydrophobic behaviour of each of these coatings. So as I continue to chemically treat this panel, you'll hopefully be able to see that both these coatings performed fairly well here, being able to resist the chemical until I really started applying and working it in more aggressively. At which point, I think it's fairly safe to say that Geon Q2 Pure started to noticeably edge ahead, showing quite an impressive resistance to the chemical by comparison to G-Technic XOV4. That struggled a little more as it began to lose its positive hydrophobic qualities. Now, as you guys have a look at the rest of the testing on this second test panel, it's not like I saw a massive difference between the application of one layer versus two layers. In fact, XOV4 almost performed a little worse here, while Q2 Pure seemed to perform a little better, which was also interesting. But as a whole, comparing Q2 Pure to XOV4, the results were quite similar to the first test panel. And as you guys continue to watch the rest of the footage, I'll just sum up this video with my personal thoughts. Now both Geon and G-Technic make many consumer and professional based ceramic coatings. So it's not like this is one brand versus another brand, but rather one specific coating against another. And based on cost, performance and durability claims by the brands themselves, these two seem to be the two most closely matched consumer offerings. I personally think that these are two great coatings, both with pros and cons. The most obvious of which, at least based on my testing, is that G-Technic XOV4 is going to be a little easier and quicker to apply with a nicer feel and finish to it. While Geon Q2 Pure is going to do a little more to amplify the look of the paint and have some slightly better hydrophobic behaviour and environmental resistance to it. Now even though V4 can certainly be used as a standalone ceramic coating, it is also largely marketed and used as a top layer coating over G-Technic's other more durable and expensive coatings and based on your budget, time, skill level and needs, it could very well be a good way to go with it. But as a direct standalone coating comparison, it's hard to deny that Geon Q2 Pure ticks a lot more boxes and seems to deliver great value based on its overall performance. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.